Hello, this is Jamie from Stroller Spa, and today I wanted to show you how to troubleshoot and potentially fix the brake on your Bugaboo. Uh, Bugaboo brakes are one of the top three repairs that we've been making over the past 10 years, and oftentimes folks might be able to do this at home, but they're not sure how to. So uh, I wanted to show that to you today and uh, hopefully help you solve this issue. So um, there are a couple of different ways that your brake can uh, break on your Bugaboo. One is if it's the brake cable, sometimes it snaps. Um, if it does snap, you can bring it to any authorized service center and we can fix it for you in about 10, uh, in about 10 minutes. It's $55, give or take, and we have a warranty. Uh, if it's the brake handle, there are a couple of things that can happen. One is if the brake handle actually breaks, which is why I would never recommend putting anything heavy on it. And um, this could certainly be replaced, um, but it might take a little bit longer because we have to have the part made if we don't have it in stock. The other way that the brake handle can break, and this is the easiest to diagnose, which I'm going to share with you today, is if the, the resin or the plastic mechanism inside has actually shifted. So when you pry open this piece, there actually, there's actually a resin gear that sits inside of the housing, just like this. And sometimes if this is jammed down or if folks don't use two hands to disengage the brake, instead of it sitting nicely like this, it gets jammed like this, if I could show you that. So what we're gonna do is pop it open. Um, I have what's known as a first generation chameleon here, and you know because it has these twisty buttons, it's like a pre-2010. Um, you can also try this with a post 2010 and even cam threes, but I strongly recommend bringing it to someone who really knows the inner mechanisms just because there's a lot of stuff that's under pressure in there. And from experience, I've opened them up and had a spring shoot in my eye. So just be very aware of that. Um, so what you wanna do, if you believe that the gears have gotten crunched in there, you'll notice that this guy has two screws, two Phillips. So I'm gonna go ahead Unscrew those. You don't have to use a drill. You can certainly use any Phillips head screwdriver. All right. Gently open this up. Okay, you're gonna take this off. Take a picture of anything you take apart so you have it. Two screws. Okay. Then what you wanna do, gently take this off. You'll notice inside that you have You'll see the gear in here. Now this one's actually working perfectly and you know it is because when you press down the gear, actually, look at that. It's a good thing we opened it. The gear is not pushing down evenly. This is a customer, so I'm glad we're working on this. What I'm gonna do, you can get a really small flathead screwdriver or a little tool like this. Pry this guy out. Now when you pry it out, be careful because there is a spring underneath. Okay, it's spring loaded, so watch out. Um, so what, you'll, what you notice inside is that there's a set of teeth in there that's moon shaped. And check out this cog here. You'll also notice that it's moon shaped. These should be fitting perfectly inside. It should be aligned. Of course, you wanna put that spring back inside. Okay, just like that. When you put them back inside, line it up. It should be nice and smooth like that. If it's not, it's jammed and that also can um, be keeping your brake from working. So now we've repaired that, super simple. Sticking it back inside the hole, okay. Then we're gonna get this guy. Put the housing back on, okay. Hold it together with two hands. If your hands aren't large like mine, I do have quite large hands. Um, have a friend help you. Always more fun doing things together. Um, you don't have to use your drill. Again, you can use a Phillips head. And just a word to the wise to those who don't use drills often, if you hear a sound, like never force it. If you hear a sound 
and the drill just isn't going in nice and smoothly, it could be stripping. So be careful of that. So now that that's in, test it out. It should be a nice tight fit. Uh, if you have any other questions about this brake repair or any other brake repairs for Bugaboo or any other stroller, please feel free to reach out to us anytime at strollerspa.com or call our shop directly or any other authorized service center through Stroller Spa at 415 346 8449. Thank you so much and have a beautiful day.